we have my favorite, so much my favorite, that I actually have ran out. <laughs> As you know, autumn or fall is fast approaching. So I'm gonna be giving you today the five best hair greases that you're gonna need during autumn. But carry on watching to the end, cause number one will surprise you. So with this video, I'm starting with the hair greases, number five all the way down to number one. Starting with a countdown in fifth place, we have my favorite, the ultimate favorite, and that is the green hair dax. I absolutely love this green hair dax. I've done so many videos with this one, and I love it because of the daily use, the childhood memories that I remember of it being used in my hair. It is the best one I have used so far, hands down, just, you know, by instinct. It has never failed me. Let me just quickly tell you about the dax green. The Dax Pomade is ideal for conditioning, styling and preventing hair breakage. Enriched with a blend of oils, daily application will improve the overall condition and appearance of hair. Highly recommended for hair that breaks at the ends from excessive dryness. It contains lanolin, which enhances moisture retention resulting in softer, smoother hair. The ingredients are petrolatum, paraffin, lanolin, castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil and bergamot. It's got a light fragrance. The texture is not too thick but not too light. I need something to coat my hair, especially when I've got water on my hair. I need it to be sealed in. Moving on to number four, this one is slightly different. It is Dax, the beeswax. It's not necessarily a wax in the sense of like an edge wax. It's thicker than your average hair grease. However, I feel that this one is the best one to use for protective styling. Because it is thicker, you're not gonna be reapplying this on a daily basis. So you're gonna to need to have that moisture sealed in. And in general, I think it's the best go-to if you want an alternative for an edge control or hair wax. As I mentioned, it's not as heavy as an edge wax. However, it is heavy enough that it will keep your flyaways flown. <laughs> it will keep your flyaways down, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly read the, the instructions to you. So it's fortified with royal jelly and it says, hold on, I'm gonna need my glasses for this. That's better. Dax beeswax is specially formulated with royal jelly and pure beeswax. Soothing quality that leaves hair looking natural and shiny. So for the ingredients, the first ingredient is petrolatum. And as I've mentioned before, I'm not pronouncing it incorrectly. It is petrolatum. I would like to see it. The first ingredient down here is petrolatum. Second ingredient, beeswax. Third ingredient, paraffin. Now, if you are opposed to using these type of products, ingredients, I should say, in your hair, then I would suggest not to use it. However, if you are looking for a sealant, I would suggest to use it. Okay, and thirdly, the direction states, says massage Dax beeswax into hair and scalp. Now, personally for me, I wouldn't put this on my scalp. I do find that it's a bit too thick for the scalp and it can cause blockage of the follicles, so just be aware of that. Works great for curling braid ends, dreadlocks, and with most heat appliances. So that's another thing. You can use it as a heat protectant. And that leads me on to number three. So number three, I have greases that you're going to want to use if you're going to put any heat on your hair. And that will be my Dax pressing oil. And I say my Dax pressing oil because this is my go-to. I've done many videos on this one. And it says coconut oil and castor oil, pressing oil for hot comb and premium styling. This has been the best product for applying heat onto my hair. I did a little experiment just before I put my hair in a protective style. And the experiment was, I had a couple of subscribers asking me to maybe try doing a silk press without the hair grease. <sighs> Guys, I got heat damage. I wanted to almost in a sense prove to myself that this is a, the best heat protectant for my hair. However, the, the child in me had an inkling. When you're not meant to do something, you still want to go ahead and do it. Those impulsive thoughts, that's what happened. I don't use this one as a daily styler. I solely just use it for when I straighten my hair, when I blow dry my hair, and my curls bounce back all the time. For the directions, apply desired amount to hair before styling. Ideal use for hot iron. The ingredients, again, petrolatum, coconut oil, castor oil, fragrance. Now, in regards to the fragrance, it kind of reminds me of the Green Dax, but not really. It's, it's, I don't know, and I don't even know what the Green Dax smells like. Okay. You, ju you just have to smell it. It's not something that I can compare it to. And I'll just quickly show you the texture. It slides onto the hair very nicely. It's not sticky, it's not greasy. 
So when you've got it on your hair though, I will say because it does turn into a oil on your finger, so at body temperature, it obviously will be an oil when you're straightening your hair, hot combing your hair, blow drying your hair. So you only need the minimal amount guys. So with that being said, let's move on to number two. Again with number two, I know there's a lot more I can mention in this list guys, but I couldn't leave these ones out. And these are the Sulfur 8 treatments. Now I'm gonna have to say this, I'm gonna be very honest, I hate the smell of these. This one, not so bad, it's the light version, but it's good for the hair. I have seen, I have seen, I have to say, improvements in my hair. Less breakage, more length retention, but not for a sustained period of time, only because I couldn't stomach the smell. So then I really tried to go ahead and give it another go, because, you know, I thought maybe I'm being a bit hard on Sulfur 8. So I tried it with this one, and this is the light version. I'll tell you in a minute, guys, what it smells like. I'm just, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that, don't worry. So I've, I've had more success using this one, as you may be able to see. However, still, I've not managed to finish them because, mm, mm All right, let's start with the smell, seeing as I keep talking about it. Now, the smell, I can't describe it. I mean, it doesn't smell like sulfur, like the typical sulfur that you would think of, like the egg smell, but it has a very strong, bitter smell to it, especially this one. This is kind of like Marmite. If you don't know what Marmite is, look it up. You either love it or you hate it. I have gone in, so far I have, I've gone in and I've given it another go with this one. This is really good for hair growth and hair conditioning, okay? I'm, I feel like I'm being too hard on it, but it is my honest opinion. So, for those of you that do want to know about these ones, so I'll read the light treatment first, which is the blue jar. It says light formula, hair and scalp conditioner, treatment for dandruff and itchy scalp. So it says lightweight formula and pleasant fragrance. Sulfur 8 light formula doesn't weigh hair down while it softens dry hair and scalp. Ideal for natural, pressed and relaxed hair. All right, so that's, that's number two. Moving on to number one, and guys, you might be saying, why is Dax not my number one? This one I'm about to show you has got the final place of number one in this countdown because it's unusual to me. I've never seen something like this before, and I don't know how because it's been around for years, which I showed you in my last video, the Cantu Shea Butter Tea Tree and Jojoba Hair and Scalp Oil. Now, the reason why this is on the hair grease list is because it's like a hair grease. I showed in my last video when I applied it that it's like an ointment. It says it's oil. As you can see, it's taking its time to slide down. It looks like hair grease. The closest comparison that I can give you is the Dax. When you put it on your fingers, it slides off and it turns into oil. So again, yes, it looks like the Dax. It's got similar characteristics regarding texture. It smells lovely, it has um, the typical Cantu scent. I'm just gonna quickly say why I find it to be number one. Now, it's non-greasy. I like the fact that you can apply it to your scalp. I think that's the, the, the trickery that got me. All these other ones are in the jar. This is an, an applicator bottle. But with that being said, it's kind of hard to apply sometimes. As you can see, it takes a lot of effort to kind of squeeze it out. And it's quite warm in here now, so it's coming. No, it's not coming out. You have to maybe warm it up in your hands first before you can actually get to use the product. However, it's not a bad product. I think they may need to rethink the design of the bottle. But again, as I said, I do like it. So it's my toxic trait there. I complained about the bottle, but I like it. <laughs> right, so let me just quickly read to you what it says. It says, Cantu Shea Butter Tea Tree and Jojoba Hair and Scalp Oil. Helps protect against breakage. Conditions scalp to encourage growth and no drip formula. The reason why I've chosen this one specifically because this is one that I would definitely put on my scalp. I do put it on my hair, but I find that on my hair, it feels like how coconut oil feels on my hair, which is, it doesn't feel like it gets in there. It just feels like it just sits on top. Our scalps absorb it in nicely and then it goes through to the lengths of our hair. So it doesn't just sit on top, it penetrates from our scalp into our strands. Okay, so it says the benefits. Conditions and soothes the scalp, moisturizes dry brittle hair, nourishes roots to help encourage healthy hair growth. Now, this is the thing. This, this is what they like to do on their products, okay? They say you put it on your roots, it encourages hair growth. 
think about it. It's gonna encourage hair growth because you're gonna stimulate your scalp. The way you're gonna stimulate your scalp is the method in which you apply the product, i.e. massaging your scalp. Massaging your scalp helps blood flow to your scalp, which helps to invigorate your hair follicles at your roots, which promotes growth, right? So I see how they've done that. They're not necessarily lying because you're not gonna put it on your head and just leave it there. You do have to actually rub it in. The rubbing in of the product is what promotes the growth, right? <laughs> see what you did there. And then it says styling tips. It says use as a hot oil treatment. So that's good. I like the fact that you can use it for two things. So your scalp and a hot oil treatment. And I, I do you know what? I'm gonna have to do that, I'm gonna have to try that. It says apply oil evenly throughout the hair, cover with a conditioning cap and let sit for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, completely rinse out oil from hair, follow up with Cantu leave-in conditioner cream, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it says good for all hair types, relaxed, color treated, permed, medium to thick textures. I can say that my daughter's hair is four, 4A to 4B, and this definitely works on her hair. Her hair gets a lot drier than mine, um, so I do have to moisturize her hair daily. And I have been using a Dax, which is amazing. However, as I said, I've run out, so I've quickly switched to this in the meantime, bef before I go and get my Dax. And this has worked wonders. In comparison to other hair greases that I have in my stash, this is quite good, I'm, I'm quite impressed. Anyway guys, so, that is it for this video. If you enjoy these hair greases or I've missed out any hair greases that you would like me to look up or if you'd like to mention any hair greases, you can leave those down below in the comment section. All of these products I've shown today, you can purchase in my Amazon store by clicking the link down below. And if you want to see how I use this product, click this video now.